right. Hello, everyone. Thank you all for coming in and for joining us here. We have a very special broadcast here. Uh, okay. I want to thank all of you for taking the time to uh, stop what you were doing to come in and to uh, examine what it is that uh, we have to say here this morning. Very pleasant. Good morning to you, everyone. Hi, my name is Pastor Charles Williams. I'm the founder and the creator of the concept known and used all over the world today as the Amber Alert here in the United States of America, Amber Alert EU throughout all of Europe, and the Child Rescue Alert in other parts of the world. Thank you so very much for being here with us on this morning. We have breaking news out of uh, Perry, County, oh, Perry County, Ohio. An Amber Alert was issued earlier this morning. An Amber Alert was issued earlier this morning for a one-year-old boy, one-year-old uh, still a step, okay? One-year-old still a step. Let's pull his image up here, okay? Here we go. This is one-year-old still a step out of Perry County, Ohio. An Amber Alert was issued on his behalf uh, right early this morning when um, when a man who is the non who is a non biological male, uh, according to the report, uh, assault one assaulted not the mother but assaulted the child, and then abducted the same child. Okay, he assaulted the child and then abducted the same child out of Perry County, Ohio. An Amber Alert was quickly issued, and uh, shortly after it was issued. We're pleased to announce that as of, uh, that as of uh, about 15, 20 minutes ago, uh, he has been found, the, this little one-year-old boy out of Perry County, Ohio, by the name of Steel Estep. Uh, he has been found, and he has been found safe, and that Amber Alert has now been canceled out of Ohio. However, the Amber Alert has been canceled because the child has been found, but the suspect is still uh, is, is still missing. The suspect is still at large this morning. Okay, and you got to know authorities want this suspect behind bars because number one, the suspect not only abducted a child, but he assaulted this child. They didn't say how, but they said the suspect ex assaulted this child, and then he proceeded to abduct the child. He's got two charges: assault and then the abduction of this child. So authorities are asking uh, people here in Ohio, anyone who has any information concerning the whereabouts of Storm Zettler, this is him right here, uh, Storm Zettler, uh, you're being asked to call area code 740-342-4123. Again, that's area code 740-342-4123. Again, if you know the whereabouts of Storm Zettler, out of uh, Perry County, Ohio. You're being asked to call area code 740-342-4123. They're asking you to, to make that call because authorities are uh, were quick to point out that this suspect does have violent tendencies, okay? Uh, he, I'm gonna say that again. The suspect has violent tendencies, which may lead to as to why um, he assaulted the one-year-old. Think about that, assaulting a one-year-old child, assaulting a one-year-old child, and then abducting that same child. Authorities need your help to get this man behind bars. The other Amber Alert I want to share with you is about uh, Amber Alert that uh, was successfully resolved um, late uh, Saturday night into Sunday. Um, it was not a very long Amber Alert out of Columbia, Missouri, okay, for a two-week-old, listen at the, the age frames of these kids, okay, a little two-week-old uh, child, two-week-old baby, uh, two-week-old baby was found, uh, was found safe, two-week-old, I'm sorry, yes, two-week-old, get that right, that's why I had that mixed up, two-week-old Raheem Bigman was found safe, okay, two-week-old Raheem Bigman has been found, and he has been found safe um, there in Columbia, Missouri. That Amber Alert is also now canceled. Hey, Franchi, uh, that Amber Alert has now also uh, been canceled. But um, here, here's the deal here. As with the Amber Alert out of Ohio, 
this Amber Alert has uh, uh, the, the female suspect that was um, that abducted this child is still missing. She is still on the run this morning. Authorities say when they found this uh, this two week old child, they said that this particular child was left in a vehicle. The suspect had fled the vehicle and left the child in it. And so uh, that's the update uh, on this Amber Alert out of Columbia, uh, out, of, out of Columbia, Missouri. So um, there's your update, Frenchie and others who have joined on our Facebook pages. I want to thank you so very much for taking the time to come in and to uh, explore uh, what it is that uh, we are are, are are doing here. We're still working to make things um, in a in a more better, more better, in a more excellent way. Okay, and listen, if you have not yet downloaded the free Zoom app, you need to do that. Okay, you would have known about this Amber Alert long before I got it out to Facebook. Okay, if you were partners with us on Zoom, so. Go, look, listen, it's available in the Apple Store. It's available in the Google Play Store. Uh, go and download that app because I like to. I like talking to y'all, okay, before I go talking to the public. Hey, Garlinda, I like talking to y'all before I go talking to the public. So you need to download that free Zoom app on your tablet, on your phone, or whatever, so that when I prepare to come on, like I did this morning, I went to my Zoom people first and said, hey, y'all, I'm getting ready to go on the air. Here's what we're going to be talking about. Please alert your followers to join us, okay? And so uh, I am so loving uh, this new, uh, the new Zoom app and how we are integrating it into our, um, into what it is that we do. Listen, if you have not yet, uh, <clears throat> if you have not yet, um, um, donate it should you so feel to again volunteer if if you want to volunteer to donate please feel free to donate we could definitely use uh, the financial support during this time okay you can go to our uh, PayPal okay go to PayPal go to go to PayPal I think the actual link is called PayPal dot okay pay dot pal PayPal me dot uh, let me pull it up here because I want to make sure I get that right. That's, I can't mess that up, okay? Uh, let's pull that up. It's paypal.me slash Charles Williams US, okay? It's paypal.me slash Charles Williams US. And any amount, whether it's a dollar, five dollars, ten dollars, twenty dollars, a hundred dollars, a thousand dollars, whatever you want to give, uh, it goes towards the cause of what I am doing right now, okay? Again, like I've stated before, Amber Alerts are free. I want, to be, I want to be crystal clear about that. Amber Alerts are free, but the methods used to get them out there cost, okay? And help us to defray the cost of what it is that we do by going to our PayPal app. Again, that's paypal.me slash Charles Williams US and uh, make that donation uh, today. But again, for the benefit of those of y'all who are just coming in, Okay, for the benefit of those of y'all who are coming in. Okay, it's not dot US, it's Charles Williams US. Okay? It's all one. Charles Williams US. Um Okay, thank you, Frenchie, for what you're doing there this morning. Okay, but uh I wanted to um again for the benefit of those of y'all who are coming in, the Amber Alert out of Ohio, the Amber Alert out of, out of Perry County, Ohio has been successfully resolved, okay? It has been successfully resolved. The child has been found, and uh, and he has been found safe. However, the suspect is still at large, okay? And so we need uh, everyone, and again, this is another look at the suspect right here. This is uh, Storm Zettler. Anyone having any information as to the whereabouts of Storm Zettler, you're being asked to call area code <clears throat> You've been asked to call uh, area code 740-342-4123. Again, that's area code 740-342-4123. And again, that Amber Alert out of Columbia, Missouri, for this uh, for the little two-week-old, two-week-old Raheem Bigman, uh, that Amber Alert has also been successfully resolved as well. 
okay, and he has, uh, both of the children have been found, okay, both of the children have been found, but, okay, both of the children have been found, but authorities yet uh, need our help in bringing those responsible, okay, in bringing those responsible to justice, because you don't just kill, I mean, you just don't assault a child, you don't just assault a child and just, um, and just say, oops, my bad, you know, I'm sorry, you know, I'll never do it again, you know, no, 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 if you assault the child, okay, if you assault the child and then you abduct the child, okay, authorities want to get you off the street because you need to be off the street, okay, thank you, Frenchie, okay, again, uh, for uh, those of y'all, if you ever need to contact me for any reason, you can, okay? Our contact information is right there on the screen. You might want to screenshot it, okay? Uh, right there on the screen. Visit us on our website at www.amberalertfounder.com. Normally, we put these broadcasts also up on our website, which is the website just goes straight over to, okay? The website just goes straight over to the uh, 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 one of our Facebook pages at our discretion. And also... Those of y'all who are desiring to make a donation to the work and to the cause that we do, okay? Here's the link right here. It's HTTPS, okay? It is HTTPS, and that's all in there, which means that it's the secure site. Um, it is www.paypal.me slash Charles Williams US, okay? And it's, as simple, it's simple, easy, and painless, and again, any amount that you uh, so feel to, uh, to choose to donate, we certainly do appreciate it because I realize that these are lean times right now, especially with the corona outbreak, with the coronavirus outbreak. But we are committed to being here like we were here for these two children and bringing in and letting you all know about uh, what's going on. We're committed to being here on both ends, whether it's the front end or the back end of the Amber Alerts. And uh, so that's what your support helps us uh, and encourages us to continue to, uh, to do. Listen, before we close, I want to say this, okay? Before we close, I have to say, I have to say this. As we are in this corona outbreak period and season, a serious tone here is that 470 people to date, as of this morning, have lost their lives here in the United States since this pandemic really began to, to take off. Four, that's 470 families who are grieving this morning. And people have asked, they said, well, why don't, we, why don't we see a lot of funerals? Because from what I've read, information that I've read states that when a person dies from coronavirus, the virus is still alive in them for days after they die. So this is why once a person dies from coronavirus, they bury them immediately, okay? And so with that being said, why is it that our government, our president, our vice president, and this administration, and all of their press conferences, and I've watched them all, refuse to even acknowledge that these 470 people even existed as though their life did not matter on this broadcast and on every broadcast going forth to the families of victims of the coronavirus and those who are recovering from the coronavirus our thoughts and our prayers are with you during this awful awful time of your loss we remember you and I say to you Yes, your loved one mattered from all of us and all associated with us here at the Amber News Network. We remember. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Thank you for your work, Frenchie. Okay, and uh, we'll see you all next time right here from the Amber News Network. And we are out in five, four, three, two, one.